Hello, this is Darnell Bolton, um, transatlantic graduate student. This is going to be an area of study for me, or I don't know how I'm going to work this in my thesis. What I want to do, my goal, is to connect history and technology. I don't know how this project is going to turn out. I'm in the beginning of my graduate um, of my graduate career in transatlantic history. My goal is the obviously the PhD in um, transatlantic history. And I see a lot of use of technology today to communicate information and um, organization and things like that. And I think it's a good idea. I think some of it's being could be used better in a more positive way. I'm going to try to do that. I have no idea how this project is going to turn out. Hopefully, I will evolved it. I will have evolved in the conclusion of this project with um better technical skills, uh better um oratorical skills, better items of presentation. Uh, my definitely hope that my historical knowledge and lectures develop. This may end up being a bunch of random interviews or it may connect into a consistent body of work that is usable on the thesis level or serve as useful bits of information. I hope that it is inspiring I think that there's one problem with history and I'm finding on an academic level that many scholars look at history in a vacuum like this is what happened in 1911 and we need to know this I find that it's pointless if 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 what happened in 1911 does not tell us something about today if it does not connect to a continuum of events that gives us a degree of understanding of yesterday present and the future other than that um history is just stories and there's a lot of scholarship on the fact that history is just that which I'll probably do a lecture on that but right now, I want to begin constructing the site and getting videos up. And that's the hardest thing. If anybody is starting a project like this, get videos up. The, you know, you want to do that perfect video. You don't want to look stupid. You don't want to, oh my goodness, let me do it in the right place, the right time. Let me get the right information. Let me have my notes. Just start. You can always take the bad videos down as you get better videos. Um, I want to enlighten people on history because I believe if we understood certain things about history today that we will, um, oof, man, that we will have a different outlook on certain things. Perfect example. If we understood issues about immigration and the fact that building a wall to keep Mexicans out of what used to be Mexican territory until it was literally stolen, stolen from them by the United States government, it's the difference between somebody trying to get back to land that was theirs and profit as opposed to people coming into somebody else's land but it's been so long ago and so many people don't know history and history is not being taught or presented in a way that is applicable to today's issues people don't connect the two and i don't think it's by accident i'm at this moment not an organizer at this moment i'm not gonna say i'm not a scholar uh, I don't think a scholar is something someone designates you as. 
A scholarship is a result of your effort. Um, I think just like anything else, when you get the doctorate, you find out how little that doctorate means. It was the desire. It was the focus. It was the um, the uh, the the stick to itiveness to take my mother's term that really made a huge difference in how you presented information, took in information and disseminated inf disseminated information. So scholar scholarship is not the alpha and the omega. It's just a step. It's a point of reference. One thing I found already that I do not like about scholarly writing is it's only ex it, it it doesn't leave a lot of room for new thought at least in history at least with the professors I've had at the university where I'm studying and the research I'm finding the general setup is you come up with a premise and find qualified sources that agree with you well that means somebody else already thought it now you can or they'll have where you will have a over an overall premise that is um is new but you'll have to have each step along the way verify you know uh, supported by somebody else's thought another scholar so it almost sounds like New thought is doesn't have a lot of weight in scholastic writing, and I I don't think that's always I don't I don't agree with that, and maybe that's too much of my artistic uh, qualities coming out. But I'm going to really make a goal to get videos up to get started. This is the first video, good or bad, and just kind of see as this prog as this project progresses and hopefully it'll be I'll have the ability to bring this into a thesis or a formal graduate project in some type of way so I don't rem even remember today's date so I think Today is the 14th. It's January 14th, 2018, because tomorrow is Martin Luther King's celebration. So, stay posted.